really annoys me. I just watched a video today with someone essentially justifying river banking, uh, apparently a mm. scholar justifying river banking. And I'll say to myself, but where's the darura? Where's the necessity? Exactly, it, it took me yeah. 10 minutes of extra work is a necessity for riba. How does that make sense? Mm. Yeah, I, ha I have kind of similar sentiments on that because um, you've got me thinking actually. Because if you want to improve your situation, and you know how last time you kept saying optimize, uh, <laughs> if you want to like optimize, then essentially that's something <clears throat> we should be considering definitely. And um, this whole thing about the rura is one of my like call it pet peeves or whatever. And I think it's a sentiment shared by a lot of people these days that the argument of the it's, it's just being abused too much. Like every other opinion or every other thing is like. Oh, I must um, do it. I must do it. I must do it. The scholars say this, but in the case of necessity, and I'm like, we don't need. It. It's not that difficult. Like we're okay just following it as it is. And it's like I think there is a bit of a pushback to that because people see the parallels of like what happens to religion if you follow that path. You know, with like Christianity and what's happened. People can recognize that at least some Muslims in the West, and they're like, a lot of non-Muslims are even coming to Islam, and we've had videos on this before they they're attracted by the um the rigidness in a sense of like here are the boundaries and these are the boundaries we stick with but when you see that like oh some scholars say you can have the one that you want to live in as long as you're not on mortgage and all that kind of stuff it like convolutes it and it's like you can see where it ends or like it's not a good end i guess so essentially in on the topic of the <laughs> order what i try to what i try to draw people's attention to is that people need to start asking themselves is it something you want or something you need they're not the same thing i need medical care i need cancer treatment i need a roof over my head yeah these are things i need what i want is a bentley what i want is a tesla what i want is to study this degree in this university of such prestige that's what i want i don't need it i want it when you start looking at wants as needs, you're going to have misguidance. I just, mm. I just heard today, I have, to, I have to record it. I actually did a screen record because in my, in my Telegram group, we was discussing it. How mm. literally one person said, yeah, I have the opinion that you can do the mortgage if it's your house you live in, or you can do a student loan if you want to do that. And I thought to myself, this is such a, um, a, such a, what's the word? That's such a irresponsible thing to say. Who said you need a house? Now, don't get me wrong. There may be a case where a house is necessary. You need to have a house. And the only way of you getting out of your situation is to have a house. For example, you live in a council estate. The council, the council estate is bad. When I say bad, as in you fear for your life and for your life of your children. And there actually mm. is no way you can get out of that place or even move to another estate without actually getting a house, for example. I'm saying, I'm, as a scenario, I'm not saying that's real. I'm saying that, that could mm. be, that's, imagine that is a scenario. So therefore, you may make a case, okay, I need to get a mortgage because otherwise my kids are going to be seeing this, raising this, and I fear they're going to go into drugs, crime, zina. There's a genuine fear there. My, friend, my son's friends are in, in the area. I know how they are. I know where they're going. I want them out of that environment. Yeah? Maybe. Maybe that could be a case. But even with that, you can say, okay, but wait, who said you have to have a house in London? Who said you have to have a house or even live in the UK? There's so many places you can go in the dunya. Why do you have to have a mortgage in the middle of London, in Kensington Street, wherever? Why do you have to do that? You don't have to. It's what you want to do. And this is what mm -hmm. I'm saying that people need to understand that the darura, the necessity, has to be a genuine necessity. Is there genuinely a necessity for you? May not be. And but when you give, give a fatawa or statements that, yeah, if, if it's the house you live in, you can do it. That's such a blanket statement. Maybe that mm. you, you basically open the doors to everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, even for example, and, 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 and let me give you another example. Yeah. And this is, this is one of my, one of my, I would say one of my, my biggest arguments against this idea of mortgages. In order for you to get a mortgage, you first need a deposit. And if it's an Islamic mortgage, for example, specifically, that deposit may be 10% of the total value. If you have that much money as a deposit, you actually have enough to buy a flat. 
Listen carefully. If you've got enough money to put a deposit to buy, to, to buy a house, you actually have enough money to buy a flat, whole, done, completed, in Turkey, in Malaysia, in any Muslim country in Dunya, you have enough money to buy even a house. So why do you need to have a house in London? Why? You actually, you've, actually, you've actually proven you have the funds because you can get a mortgage. So therefore, you've actually, therefore you've proven you don't actually need the house. On more, you don't need the mortgage, but you want it. So that's, mm. um, that's my, one of my biggest arguments. Forget all the issue of, is it halal, is it darura, whatever. Even if you go that route, you say, yeah, for darura you can. My first question mm. is, if you have the money to get a deposit, then therefore you have enough money to buy a, buy a flat. And just scale down the lake, buy a flat, be humble, save up, save up some more. And then over time you get a bigger flat and then maybe over time you get a house, but there's no reason to have a big, you know, three bedroom house in the middle of Leighton. Mm. Yeah, I've, not, I've never heard of it. That last argument that you made, I think that's probably the most powerful one that I've heard. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, people have this thing. Other people, I guess, um, I would say that they're not really that educated uh, Islamically, but they're educated in like minority opinions. So like um, <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll talk about how um, oh, riba's everywhere and stuff and like a necessity, but then they'll happily do uh, car interest payments that is clearly not a necessity. Like you, like you mentioned, you don't need a, a car payment for like a Mercedes new one, whatever it is, right? So they, they kind of defeat the argument there, but then it's just like, oh, we're living in this system and Bro, the arguments even, that even just how, go even one cars. level deep. Even cars, I was looking at some years ago, like maybe five, ten years, five, six years ago, at a Tesla. I, I, I'm fascinated with Tesla, a lot of Teslas. Mm. I was looking online because they had this 0% finance option back in the day. And I thought to myself, you know what? I could probably do this, you know? I looked mm. at the payments. I said, I, I, reckon I, I reckon I could keep up with the, with the monthly payments. But you know what? The initial deposit or the initial payment you have to pay for to get, even get the car actually is enough to get a good normal car. 